There are important lessons to be learned from the five extreme weather surges between 2002 and 2010. They have stuck around. That's what distinguishes weather from climate shifts. Most of these talks may be new to you, as they involve a different way of looking at the climate problem. I am William Calvin, a professor emeritus at the University of Washington's Medical School. Thanks to a good physics background, I have been closely following climate science for 40 years. We teach med students how to detect emergent problems before they become drop everything else emergencies. That's a mindset missing from the climate debates. There is a good chance of a series of global economic crashes, triggered by further surges in extreme weather. This could happen long before global average surface temperature reaches 1.5 degrees Celsius of overheating. Such is the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement's notion of when we get into big trouble. This series will, I hope, convey my sense of how much sooner big trouble could arrive. Or already has. As my series title says, extreme weather has created a climate emergency. Note the past tense. Since about 2003, it has been like watching a slow motion train wreck in progress. But there is nothing hopeless about our situation. While sea level rise will continue for centuries, no matter what we do, we could achieve a lot by removing the 50% excess of carbon dioxide from the air overhead, that would cool us off and reduce the extreme weather surges. But existing CO2 cleanup proposals will need an order of magnitude improvement if we are to accomplish that before the consequences of extreme weather destroy our civilization. Climate's Manhattan Project, and how to kickstart it, is the topic of the last half-hour talk in this four-part series.